Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from TheCage.com. What I have here is the Galaxy J7 2017. So Samsung has been having the Galaxy J series since 2015. So I reviewed the 2016 model and that wasn't exactly the best one I've ever tried. Uh, J7 comes back with the full metal design and Samsung Pay is also included. Uh, this particular model has 5.5 inch of full HD display and 32 gigabytes of storage. The details of the specs might vary depending on the country that you buy this in. So let's go ahead, unbox this. What you see inside the packaging is the phone itself. Right here, we're gonna put it there and see what else it has inside the packaging. So there is a quick guide along with the Samsung Pay manual right there. It has the Samsung Pay and it's got a SIM card removal tray, SIM, SIM card tray removal tool, little pin right there and the charger right there. It's got a five volts of a 1.55 amps of a output. That means it does not support the quick charge, so we'll have to see how long it takes. And then there is a pair of earphones through the 3.5 millimeters of standard headphone jack. And then lastly, there's a micro USB cable that you can charge your phone with or uh, transfer your data through your PC. So here is the phone itself, 5.5 inches. It's not terribly big, it's not terribly small. We're going to go ahead and remove the protective plastic and here we go. This is a full metal design with the 13 megapixels of a camera and an LED flash. Now, the camera is pretty bright with the aperture of f1.7, which is not exactly popular in this price range. There is an antenna slate right there, a Samsung logo, and um, that's pretty much it. Moving on to the right hand side, there is the power key along with the speaker. So the loudspeaker is positioned on the right hand side, so it's less likely for you to block it rather than positions like here or there. And then moving on to the bottom, we have a micro USB port, microphone, and the 3.5 millimeters standard headphone jack. Right next to it is the two slots, one for micro, uh, one for nano SIM and micro SD card slot. If you got a dual SIM model, then you should be able to put two SIM cards and the micro SD card, not a hybrid slot. So volume key right next to it and nothing on top, not even a secondary noise canceling microphone. So that's what you have. So moving to the front facade, we have a 5.5 inch full HD display, uh, 13 megapixels of camera, that's f1.9, is slightly darker and the receiver right there, LED flash for your selfie, and then there are some bunch of sensors right there. Below that is a multitasking home and the back key. Now, home key doubles as a fingerprint reader, so it has fingerprint reader, always on display, and Samsung Pay, all in that package. And now it's done booting up. Let's try changing the language into English and go ahead with the settings. Alrighty, we're at the launcher, and this has Samsung Experience 8.1 on top of Android 7.0 Nougat. The screen might look a little red-ish. Um, this is the thing about the AMOLED displays. When you shoot them with the camera, it looks a bit more red than it actually looks to your bare eyes. It seems like it shows pretty standard white to my eyes right now. So software-wise, it's got Samsung Experience 8.1 on top of Android 7.0 Nougat. Uh, Samsung introduced a new Samsung experienced the previously touch switch with the Galaxy S8. You can swipe from any position of the screen to bring out the app drawer, the notification bar looks like this, there are a bunch of settings, and then there is the always on display. You turn off your screen, and then there is the always on display that used to be only available in the flagship Galaxy S or the Galaxy Note series. Now that they passed it down to the Galaxy A, and then they introduced it to the Galaxy J with the 2017 iteration. At the first glance, it looks like a pretty reasonable phone for the price range. Um, it's got a solid design, it's got a lot of new features. It also has a pretty standard Exynos 7870 octa-core processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, and 3600 milliamps of battery. That sounds like a pretty decent amount for the specs that this guy has. We'll go ahead, use it, and see how it performs, how it takes photos, how it sounds with the speaker, and how long it lasts with that battery. We'll get back with the review fairly soon. Thank you always for watching. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.